We spent a lot of time with Circus Flora during its 2009 season shooting a documentary, and we're not going to show you that tonight, but we ended up with something extra that we thought was kind of interesting. Usually circus stories take place under a big tent, but in Patrick Murphy's story tonight, the big top itself is the star of the show. <laughs> Whether you choose to run away and join the circus, or just come and visit, life beneath the big top is a world of its own. Setting up a tent big enough to house a circus requires the services of a tent master. For St. Louis's circus flora, that's Eric Jaeger, who's been setting up circus tents around the world for almost 40 years. When working in St. Louis, Eric stores his tent on a flatbed parked in an industrial site on the east side. Let's just lay it out right here on the grass. Keep it out of the mud there. That's good right there. About a week before the first performance, he and his crew conduct a general inspection and make sure all the parts are ready for assembly. Circus tents have come a long way from the days of canvas and wooden poles. This tent was manufactured in Italy by one of the world's premier tent makers and setting it up is a major engineering feat. With the first performance just days away, Eric and his crew haul the whole package across the river to the site of Circus Flora in the heart of Grand Center, where they will turn a parking lot into a world of circus. How could I have any worries? Sun shining, equipment's here, my crew's here. Good guys, I'm having a great day. Eric might not be the worrying type, but the keys to being one of the world's top tent masters is to stay focused and well organized. After unpacking the tent, laying out the parts, and marking the blacktop, it's time to unload the air conditioning units, hook up to electrical power, and drive in the tent stakes. There isn't anything about this tent that isn't big and heavy. So Eric's major concern is safety, making sure everything's attached properly, just safety, keeping an eye on everybody, every cable, every shackle, every tier four. Safety, safety, safety. The tent is suspended from four king poles, which are more than 100 feet long. After cables are attached to them, they're connected to winches, and the slow process begins of pulling them up to their full height. Andrew, ready? Alan? Go ahead, guys. Stay together. 200 feet of cable, an inch, and a half at a time. With four winching crews pulling up the king poles, coordination and timing are everything. No team can get ahead of the other, and each pole has to be perfectly vertical before it's locked into place. Where are you at? Hold it. That's good. Not real tight, just snug up a little. Hold it right there. Today's the fun day. Yesterday, we put the masts up, and, uh, that was a lot of cranking. Today we're going to put the cupola up, and that's even more cranking. The cupola, a circular grid with a 40-foot diameter, is the tent's roof. And like everything else, it has to be assembled, then hoisted. Like the four main supports hold this up, which holds up the entire tent and the walls and everything. So this is like the main structure part of it. But before the crew can actually crank up the cupola, the sides of the tent have to be attached. The guys here are just finishing up the lacing. Once they get that lace line finished, all of us will climb inside. We'll go in there. We have four main winches and four auxiliary winches that are hand cranked. The guys will get on them. We'll lift all eight together. We'll bring the cupola centerpiece up. The only downside is it's going to be very warm in there, probably, I would say, around 110 degrees till we get it up, lift it up a little bit where the air starts to get under it. And it's a bit tough on the guys. We take water bottles in there for them so we can stay hydrated, but it's a, it's a hard job. Put that grind on it. 
pump it. Ah. Finish line. That's all what she want. Got to get it. Teamwork. This is all about teamwork. It's backbreaking work, but um, it's very rewarding. You get to see something go up, and you get to see the, the fruits of your labor right there. You get to build a tent, you put a show on, you take it all down, and uh, you do it again next year. Hard work, definitely. But the crew still manages to find some time to squeeze in a little circus fun. One, two, three. I never thought it took that much work to put up a tent or take it down. I thought it was just a much stake in the ground, a couple of ropes, and that's it. I, I'm starting to see that it's more than more than what you think, you know. But I'll be prepared next year when I come back. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Finally, the side poles are put in place, the circus ring and bleachers are brought in, and it's circus time. Hi there, welcome to the circus for us. So bring in the crowds clowns, the high wire acts, and the jugglers. It's Circus Flora beneath the big top. I genuinely love doing the tent. I have fun with it. And that's, you know, it's uh, more than a job. It's a lifestyle.